depressing title, Colored Girls is not a depressing play. In fact, it is exuberant and full of life. Seven young black women unabashedly share their lives with the audience. They talk about their relationships with men, their relationships with other women, their pain, their fears, and their joy. The playwright, New York poet Nitosaki Shange, pulled together all the elements. There are rousing dance numbers, moving monologues, and here and there, touches of humor. I am ending this affair. This note is attached to a plant I have been watering since the day I met you. You may water it your damn self. The lady speaking these lines is Latanya Richardson, a native Atlantan and a graduate of Spelman College. She has come back to her hometown to play the role of her dreams. It is a human show, and it speaks to black people in particular because she chose to write it that way because she is black, and it should be written that way. It should speak uh, specifically to our culture, to, to our set of people. But at the same time, if it is to be a universal piece, it has to allow for a universal setting, and it does. The situations are all human situations. They're re uh, relationships. Colored Girls premiered four years ago at the New York Shakespeare Festival produced by Joseph Papp. It got rave reviews. During its stint on Broadway, it was heralded as a play that should be seen, savored, and treasured. Atlantans will begin their own savoring next Wednesday when it opens at the Alliance Theater. There are no lavish costumes and no fancy sets, but sometimes the play, like the rainbow in its title, is enough. And this is for colored girls who have considered suicide but moved to the ends of their own rainbows. I found God in myself. And I love the Alliance Theater, Katie Emmerman, Action News.